Nasoke, okay, Nasoke, okay. Rotsane, Rotsane. Rotsen. That was um, XTC and Nasty Groove. It's called Hold On. Uh, Vox, Kamban. Um, happy, happy Tuesday, everyone. Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Mic check, mic check first. Hey, mic check, mic check. I would say, but I think I'm even more to our trial. I'm even more to our trial. Um, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Yes, okay. I see some thumbs up, I see some hundreds. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming through to Everything House Music. Today's guest is Mr. Groove, and um, he's here to have a chat with us. We've been wanting this man on the Deep House space for the longest time, for the longest time. And we haven't been able to get him. And um, today he is our guest on Everything House Music. So hopefully we'll have a good chat with him alongside just listening to some of his music and getting to know this man a bit further and a bit more um, than what uh, what meets the ear that we've been hearing with our ears. So thank you so much. And of course, as always, the mic is available. Please don't be shy. The mic is available to each and every person that's here. Um, it's okay to come and grab the mic and add your voice to everything. House music. Uh, seeing that we've heard Lloyd already, but before you go back to him, let's hear. Let's hear the mic and give welcome to everything. House music on this Tuesday to Usis Nwanda. It's no wonder. Happy, happy Tuesday. Uh, please unmute your mic. I uh, hope you're doing well. Please unmute your mic. Thank you. Good evening, Vox Man. Uh, good evening to everybody listening to Everything House Music. Uh, good evening, Lloyd. And of course, to our guest uh, for this evening, the sensational Nastic Groove. I'm looking forward to this conversation on so many levels. Um, I think because we've all listened to some nasty groove, you know. If 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 you've listened to house music 
whether you've known it or not, you have definitely, definitely danced to some of this, um, to this music, you know. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to speaking to the man behind the magic to understand a bit of his process, a bit of his thinking. Uh, and as usual, it is an absolute pleasure to be hosting you and to be able to, to hopefully ask some of the questions that maybe you could be a bit too shy to ask. But if you aren't, please pick up the microphone. Um, and if maybe you don't feel like talking, but you still want to contribute to the conversation, please use the hashtag everything house music in a tweet in the comment box section in the bottom right hand corner or just in G. Um, but yes, I'm definitely looking forward to unpacking some of this. So I'm going to hand back over to Voxman, uh, and follow, follow his lead definitely. But thank you for playing the first number Lloyd. I'm looking forward to the space, uh, as usual. Um, so over to you guys. Peace and love. And that is this no other two amazing things on Sundays with her. Exceptional woman, exceptional woman. She sounds so amazing. Niamuzwa, she sounds so amazing. Why wouldn't we have her on, on our spaces? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't at all? Uh, let's pass on the mic to Lloyd. Lloyd is also the the host of the Deep House Space. As well as top of the morning space, which happens weekly uh, from 10 a.m. to 12 mid, 12 p.m. midday, um, from Monday to Friday. Yeah, uh, clock. What point is him nand? Is he as a command? But you come back in chat. Hola, 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 hola. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, and we're here. Um, I know you guys are used to Ubuga, but Buga has some responsibilities to attend. Yeah, so corner, Vox, so corner, so corner with uh, Mr. Ghost Producer, <laughs> Nasty Groove. Dango. Yeah, well, I don't know, you say, Ghost Producer, with uh, so much of his music, so much of his sound that you hear in other people's, uh, other people's songs. But finally, today, maybe we can un- unravel. Uh, some of that. Um, and let's stick group with it too. Please unmute your mic. Welcome for the very first time on Everything House Music. Hola, hola. Uh, thanks for having me on Everything House Music. My fair true. Uh, that's the groove here. And sorry for the previous interview. I couldn't make it, but yeah, I'm here. So, what's up? <laughs> now I'm not jiving, Charles. Now I'm not jiving. It's all good, man. It's all good. Um, Rateva, Raspana, Raspana, Raspana. So much music that you do. So much DJing. So, Ralevo, uh, finally, uh, you're actually here and you're actually able to join us. Yeah, man. It's good to be here. It's good to be here, guys. <laughs> nah, shout out, man. Shout out. Lloyd uh, Udlele, been yeah, how the next days? Um, our child, like I will before the affair, okay. Yeah, I think if I do remember well, I got a call from Taban Paling, called me and both are aim. This this guy, our guest, has been telling me about your sound, and I'm child or not, get out here, me. And understand that so he reached out. We shared some projects together. I think a couple of projects together actually. So we just ended up picking one project for his album. So basically, we still have more projects together and that we haven't been released. But yeah, we we really loved the song together. So we decided to release it on his album. So shout out to XTC man. So our dinga uh, uh, I mean, give us a sum. But how many, how many songs? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know actually. Yeah, I like to work with you. Like you can ask every producer that has worked with me. Like I don't, I don't do only one song, man. We just have to work eh? until we find the right one. So, so I, I guess I mean. What you were saying also, you could uh, take out uh, dozens and dozens of albums in Chalima Chance 
just <laughs> dart in jail on, on a daily on a daily or a weekly yeah on a friday uh, here's another song here's another song here's another song <laughs> if it was possible yes but as what i'm when it comes to releasing music i'm very picky because i just love telling story you know hence people have a lot of uh my music that i haven't released cuz i like to portray a story into an ep or an album or into a singer so i'm very picky when it comes to releases like i don't just release but it's on demand but i just decide that you know when something good is there we just have to put it for everyone No, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, I recruit them around. Yeah, wait. Let's let's take it back to, uh, who is who's next to groove? Kutlaku Kai. I mean, all the way from Limpopo, making music. I believe from the age of fifteen. I'm fine. Could you take us back until, uh, those ages uh, when you when you first heard, uh. Martin at jazz. No, it's a lot. No, it's a lot. I would try at jazz. Nah, man. Uh, I used to have an uncle who owned the saloon, you know. He used to play this original uh, CDs like uh, House Africa, your, your, your Soul Candy Sessions. So and I was a big fan of a couple of uh, the compilations like Abo... DJ China, Claude, Ganyane, DJ Fresh, you name them. At first, the contributed artists behind the songs, you know, because like as you can remember, the compilation only saw the 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 the, the DJs like Abu DJ Fresh compilation, not DJ Fresh compilation has Uba Nuba and Uba Nuba and on the. track list to understand so around 20 i think it was 2014 2015 that's Uh, my check, my check. Uh, Lloyd, uh, Sister Wanda, just want to check if can yes, we yes, still... Yes, yes, yes. We definitely uh, lost Nastic Groove there. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, apologies to everyone in the space. I think our young man there um, has a network issue, but he probably can be back. Um, yeah. Let me just check. Next week, Yeah, I'm so, I'm still on. No, I'm not, I'm not driving. Yeah. Next week, it just lost a little bit. Our <laughs> worker saloon. Oh, okay. Oh, it's that far. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, is it cool now? Yeah, I'm not driving. No, yeah, yeah, man. I'm not. But I have an uncle who used to own a saloon back at home. Cool and popo, sicheo. And he used to play those uh, CDs. I would lend CDs, House Avenues. I would DJ Fresh, Venus, Deep House Sounds, Claude, China's, like you name them. That's when I fell in love with uh, house music. Then after, for some time, uh, I met Lena X through a friend who actually interested me, introduced me to... the concept of this compilation having artists that's when I, i started knowing that this compilation are made of different artists like abu ad jazz richard ensho rasmus faber and the works so that's how i got into knowing the people that i started following from there and back then i was starting to dj Because I started DJing before pro, uh, doing production, music production. Sorry. So yeah, that's where all it started. 
Sir, did you enjoy? No, I like it. Get it, get it. Hundred. Yeah, man. Get the new mark NDX hundred. Pioneer hundred unit. Gemini is. I played all of them, except for the records. I only played. I wait in these days. Um, I saw I saw an event, um, and they actually had a video of it. Uh, no, they. They had the hundreds uh, to play with. I was like, okay, this is very interesting. <laughs> so I guess our book about China Rukopa or Rukopa or the DCT in Fetu. Because I take care of Runa, it's not as as new as as, as perhaps the, the thousand or seven fifty. But um, so <laughs> after playing music, after playing music, after DJing, when did the love of uh, wanting to make the music then start? Uh, like I said, I was introduced to Lala X uh, through a friend, uh, Josty. Shout out to Josty, man. Uh, I fell in love with. Firstly, we started doing though as if we are just playing games, you know. Like it was something that we had. So we just played with it until we got to learn what it's capable of. Then I started doing music all together. And my first EP was in uh, 2014 through a, a, a record label from me. So that's where Nasty Group started. It will how long in to actually uh, to be ha- to be happy with your first song. I mean, did you do, do you still have the first songs that you made back in this day? At, uh, like you still play them back. Uh, how long did it take you? I've lost a couple of uh, projects that I did first, uh, when I started producing, but I still have some of the tracks that I did, and I even threw them away. Like I said, I'm. I don't like releasing something that I'm not happy with. So for that, for me to release, I thought maybe I was introducing a new sound for me and for the deep house culture. Nah, nice one. I'm from the Rumel and Fita. I'm from the Rumel. You wanna hear this song? Maybe, maybe, maybe they are, they are too, but I think it's not since I'm a same, but I'm a fire in the wind. Um, shout out to everyone who's facing. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to be a part of the conversation, um, if you want to perhaps give some flowers or some questions to our guests this evening, <coughs> that's the groove. Uh, please don't be shy. Do come up. Uh, we've already been 20 minutes into it. And I'm going to ask one more question and then we're going to go to a song um, so that Rukhona Unkali Brikinyana Likestia Ron. So, um, when you say you released your first EP in 2014, I mean, how did it, how did it do? How did it do? Did you release it? Uh, it was bad, man. My first EP got the Best reception ever. I'm not gonna lie, it had the bad, bad reception ever. I mean, from from Bomang, from the fans or from mm-hmm. DJs? No, like even everywhere, like uh, even on your uh, YouTube and everything. Because I started being a producer, I used to use uh, and another stage name called Big Soul. Before Nestic, there was Big Soul. So the transition between Big Soul and Nestic Groove, I think it can leave. Like, I don't know. It caused a shift towards me losing people who actually followed uh, Big Soul. So, yeah, it got a bad reception. Actually, people are not aware of it. If <laughs> if I say so. 
Ah, so Tommy is big soul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where do you get these names? Yeah, where do you get these names from? Nah, man, like when I started releasing and I, I tried to register the name, there was someone already using the name Big Soul. So I had to come up with a name that I can actually represent the sound that, that I want to do. Wow, okay. So at yeah. the time, I mean, the song that you, you officially you featured with uh, Monocles, were you still picked soul at the time? I don't have a song with Maybe Monocles. Because you're not pick soul. You're not a pick soul. Yeah. Uh, you made some music with uh, V Underground. Okay, so I guess that wasn't true. Yeah, oh, okay, shout out, shout out to Big Soul. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah, let's go and play um, a next song in the space. I'm not sure what Lloyd is going to play um, because what he gave me as a list, he confused me. Uh, it's not what he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree, Lloyd. I, Lloyd Brock, uh, uh, please cue in the music and um, let's do it, man. Thank you. Sabrina Child, and you are tuned in to Everything House Music.
Artworks and nasty groove. It's called prayer. How was your voice? And that is Mr. Producer and Mr. Ghost Producer himself. Nasty groove. That's the one from um, the Artworks sounds. Um, from the back to back, back to basics. Uh, EP. Uh, Two thousand and twenty. Right, nasty groove, ne? Uh, I think it's 2021. 2021. Uh, 2022, yeah. So 2022. So 2022, yeah. Last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Back, to, back to big six. Um, I mean, collaboration. That's what it sounds. Mystic Cruise. Uh, and I yeah, was man. asking because, I mean, I think the more prominent person to make music there is George. But how does the collab work? The uh, Spanish one. Nah, man, I've been... So, even before we were... Like, so, like, even before they formed Adwork Sounds, we were still doing projects together, so he reached out for a couple of... Uh, doing songs together. So we were supposed to do something, and we did. We actually did more tracks, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> I can't count them, man. But yeah, soon they will come out soon. So the first release we did together was for their album called "The Gospel According to Adric Sounds." Then later on, we did the second offering on their. EP called Back to Basics with prayer. Yeah, man, it's so it's so good to work with like anyone actually who who shares that passion, man. It comes easy to make music with people who actually feel the music and who actually understand making sounds. No, shout out, man. Shout out, I. When I come to help, I judge. No, I job come to help. I judge. I judge. Lives me is is a great master of making music, and I say. But let me pass on the mic. Let me pass on the mic to Lloyd. Uh, before I, I speak too much. Uh, it's already half past. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I uh, just want to mention to everyone, cause facing that. So this coming Friday, which is Youth Day, uh, we're not gonna be hosting uh, the Deep House Space. Uh, it's a holiday, so go feel a some area to go to enjoy the enjoy it's June 16 as it should. I thought I'd just mention that uh, as early as possible. Hello, it's Sarah Michael. 
Lolo, Lolo, yeah, Friday. Renyako Saka Yana, Lorena. Modi Pifon Zekaka. Sure, sure, Nastik. Yeah, man. I'm here. In Tanda. Ah, man. Can't complain. Ah, get on, get on. Hey, Joe, now I want to. I want to understand your, your creative pro process, you know. Because I remember when we were with Tabang Paling, we asked him, Ore, what's this guy singing, singing these vocals here? It's like, nah, nothing, nothing in the eyes. Okay. <laughs> so, how do you get creative with that? Uh, when I started producing, like, I wanted to do soulful house music. So, I fell in love with the vocal mixes. Like, like I said, uh, I used to listen to Ward and Zito, Glenn, uh, so Glenn Lewis and the likes. The problem was that to get a vocalist onto a song it was expensive. Like, the vocalist that I wanted to work with, I couldn't afford to actually uh, buy their vocals or buy into the, the collab. So I was introduced to a website called Loop Masters. It's sort of like a track source for producers. So you get there, you find uh, artists. Sorry, sorry. Uh, they've dropped the, their vocals, uh, samples, loops, everything, presets there. So I've made an account with that one amount for me to actually hire a vocalist from SA. I could actually buy three or four royalty-free vocals from international uh, vocalist or artist. So for me to actually like use those vocals, it was all because of the cost, man. Like hey, making music is expensive. Like you, ever, I have to learn everything from myself. Like I, I taught myself self uh, like sound designing. I was, now I'm doing sound designing like all together. But I would still love to feature the vocalist now because I think the way I am right now, I can afford or buy into a collab with different artists, especially from South Africa now. Yeah. Ah, we have a lot of vocalists in my space. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. What's up? 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 Yeah, man. It was hard back then. Now, people just want to work. Because people yeah. used to put money first for music. So, it was expensive music. But now, people are willing to work, man. And and that's beautiful, man. Like now, people just want to work, man. <laughs> like I don't want to say much, but people are hey, people want to work. So I'm here to work, man. Even today, it still happens that um, vocalists charge money. I remember asking Rudy or why didn't he put so and so on the song? It's like, hey, man, that guy wants money. And then there was a vocalist that I, I know. I asked him, Orejo, can you work with this person? It's like, hey, I charge this much of your collab. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, right, man, why are you charging this much? Oh, this is a deep house song. It's not like you're going to make four million rands in, in, in for streams. Me, for me, I, I just think that for producers, it's about profiling, you know, like uh, the vocalist, the only child, the people that if by a co-profiling, how about check or 
your catalog if it's not strong enough that's where they're gonna charge you but if your music is out there you're pushing you're doing everything to put your music out there yeah man i think they're just willing to work yeah so when I as a nasty groove, how do you choose working with other people? Like on a criteria we work is on or young kids for your wash. Nah, bro. Like I like to work with everyone. Nah, nah, I work, bro. I don't, I don't discriminate. Like actually, it comes to music. So I like to work with everyone. Just that people don't understand when you try to tell them that to say, hey, I'm busy right now. I can't get into your rings package or I can't do the song together now because I'm still working on other projects with other mm-hmm. people. I understand. I would like to work with everyone, actually. But we don't have time to actually be on the same side to 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 work, I understand, because I think 80% of the artists or producers that I've worked with, I've never met them in person. 80%. We're just vibing through social media. They share their stuff with me, I share my stuff with them, we work together, then yeah. We get that one song, then we release. Ah, ne wa push, wa push, wa push. Um, so when you when you are you're producing, right? Um, where do you draw your inspiration from? Comes from a lot of experiences that I've went through, man. Like, uh. I don't know if you know the 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 the, the nasty groove that is funk remixes, right? Yeah, I can talk about the one and the remix now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, uh, my dad. Like, uh, when I was growing up, a big sad really time I couldn't learn new one, so. Every now and then I'll go to visit him, go and I go up Lomongo and So my dad used to be that uh, Motown fanatic, like Abu Manhattan, the spinners, you name them. He used to play those kind of music. So I never, I think about those memories that I spent with him. That's where there is funk comes from those moments that I've shared with my father when I was young. Just listening to music, man. Mm, so the remix you the better because do what was that time? No, the Daddy's Funk remix. The Daddy's Funk remix, uh, yeah. they actually resemble that classic vibe kind of music. So it actually inspired by the Manhattans, the Spinners, Abu Luther Vendros, like the works, Abu Gregory Porter. Oh, oh, hi, Kevin, Kevin. Um, okay, hi. Re, 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 kiske kaya lo 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 lo. Kife sis no kwanda. Le na kau tsaranya na kadi kweche nuabo. Sure, Nox. Sure, Lloyd. Uh, sure, Nestic Groove. Didn't say, Angel. Ah, not the grants. Why no grants? Ah, because they're the joke. It's a ring. Why is it a pillow? Who are you going? You better get into it. I can talk a minute. Yeah, so you grew up in Sesheho. Um... How was that? How did that, um, in terms of like you going back uh, and possibly giving back 
to Seshejo, is there is there anything that you're planning uh, in terms of giving back to the place that made you who you are? Yeah, but I just left Olokwane like a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm thinking of doing something, come back home, you know. Like uh like I said, there's no nasty groove without uh, the people that raised me, that gave me that opportunity. So yeah, I might be doing something soon for my hometown. Okay, cool. And I mean, I don't know if this is a bit of a personal question, but you know, what number are you? What, yeah, if you can tell us a little bit about your upbringing, you know, before even the music, uh, what it was like to be tiny little Nastic Groove. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a big sister and a little brother. We grew up with my mother and my grandmother at Sushiro. Yeah, and then when I was in high school, my mom passed away. So it was together. Like we laughed together, we worked together, we went fought together, you know. Why it's go 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 wrong like the siblings fight. <laughs> so yeah, uh that's how uh like actually my sister is one of my biggest uh, she's my uh, <laughs> like the, the biggest fan because when nobody else believed like she believed so it was one of the things that kept me going just to keep pushing music and keep DJing man yeah That's so beautiful. Thank you for, you know, sharing that part. Um, no, nah, man. You know, <laughs> I love my sister, man. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. That's beautiful. Uh, it sounds like there's a lot of love between you guys um, and how you grew up. Those sound like very, very fond memories. Um, did you go to school yeah. for music? I mean, if your sister was your biggest fan, like, um, how 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 did how did your your family support you? You know, because or house dog ta or or lawyer or you know teacher, yeah. um, then you're wasting your time. You know how how did your family support you being this artist that you are? Uh. Yeah, I think uh, I can say this for a lot of DJs and artists. Like, it's never easy when you're studying, especially when you're becoming a DJ, especially in the hood, because it's always a hood, you know. Uh, you started, yeah, you start DJing, and mostly in some places when you start DJing, you don't get actually paid. Because my, my first few gigs, I never got anything. So it, comes, uh, it becomes hard when you have to go home and you have to explain that you're, you're still trying to, keep, uh, to push yourself in order for you to get those paying gigs, you know. So, yeah, it, it wasn't as easy as people think it is, but, yeah. Eventually, they got into it, and now I got all the support from my family, even my cousins, you know. So, yeah, I'm just happy, man. I know, I know, I feel you, I feel you. Um, and you sound like you have a lot of support from your family, you know, because you're very grounded. Um, no, the problem, it's very, yeah, yeah, the problem is that. And especially for us guys, like when we start DJ, we don't actually tell like our parents what we do there. Cause 
the minute you tell your parents back then, I'm not saying now, but back then when you have to tell your parents that you want to be a DJ, all they thought were drugs, liquor, like all night parties and that, you know. So I had to take them to one of my gigs, you know, to actually see what I'm doing. Eventually they had to understand that, yeah, man, this is what he wants. And then over there, we can't do much if we start, you know, it wasn't easy, man. But yeah, I do appreciate my family for never give up on me. Now, that's beautiful. That's beautiful because I think sometimes a lot of people don't understand, Hore. You, you're not like born with a support system. You actually have to build your support system, you know? Yeah. So I like that you're saying, Hore, you had to train them, sort of, you know, Uwabon say, Hore. And like, guys, there's no other way. <laughs> ah, there was <laughs> no other way. <laughs> yeah. I love books, but then, they... there was no other way for music. And you made space for it. And, you know, because they love you, they made space for it too. Um, so thank you for sharing that. I'm curious, between your first EP, because you released Blue Affairs, got 2014, yeah. and then you released your next EP, Damon, in 2018. Um, is there a reason why, you know, because after that, then you were, you know, releasing quite consistently is there a particular reason why you had that that for your gap was was there some other things that you're tending to or you ghost producing more maybe uh do you just want to tell us what was popping during that time uh after i released them actually while i was working on them i was doing a residency at a local place so and I had to focus even that was uh, my source of income back then for me to actually go and do music. Like I had to be a resident DJ at a certain place, man. So it took a lot of time for me away from making music. And when time I started losing inspiration to do music until, when was it? Uh, I think it was 2018. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was 2018. I was playing at an event and I was opening for Tochat Soul. Man, the live performance was something else. So I think that's when uh, I started wondering to make music again. So after that, yeah. Yeah. I just went back doing music altogether. But still doing residency at clubs and really, because I was doing at the Tola FM Friday residence also. Okay, okay. No, I hear you. I hear you. Um, yeah, I like, Hore, you You like to focus uh, one at a time, you know, in terms of, of yeah, where you, you place your energy. Um, it really does come through in the projects that you're working on. Yes, you can work on, like, multiple songs at one time, but in terms of when you're putting a project together, you concentrate on that thing at that time and it's it's really really beautiful so thank you thank you so much uh, um i'm gonna ask my last question for now uh and then i'm gonna hand back over to our host with the most maybe we'll go back to a song before we keep it coming so thank you so much again for joining us on everything house music it is amazing to be able to be interviewing the sensational Nastic Groove. Um, I want to say that Nastic Groove is a household name in the house space. Um, for those of you who don't know, he's a DJ and a producer um, and also just a very grounded human being. 
so for my last question right now, ne, I would be stick. Most of most of your EPs and your singles they released under Silhouette Sounds. You know, yeah. um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that and also what your journey has been like releasing uh, other projects with uh, other record labels? I mean, most recently you did Candid Beings, which was absolutely a stellar, stellar production. Do you want to just tell us what it's like to work with different record labels and tell us a little bit more about Silhouette Sounds? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, me and Tabam Paling. We grew up on the same street, go Sisheho. So when he started hearing about me doing music, because I think he was ahead of me, so he was staying in a different place later because of school and stuff. So he heard about me doing music now. So he reached out. Uh, we did Silhouette. We did a couple of uh, first singles with, uh, I think it was Ed's and Mali the Homie. And the guys, we still hang out with, with the same guys we started with. So eventually the word got out. Like we, we started doing music. Like we started releasing music all together through the label. But it came to a point that, like, I felt like we were like, maybe like robbing people their art. Cause like all we did was just release, 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 release. We didn't put time and effort into marketing and doing PR for people's music. So and that's when I started to actually try to, to, to to put pause on people's releases because I didn't want to ruin other people's music just by releasing, you know. So me doing that with Taban Paling, we sat down. I told him what has been on my mind because I wanted, like I said, when I wanted to release my first EP, I wanted to bring a sound that hasn't been introduced to Deep House, you know, like a fusion of soulful, a fusion of new soul, a fusion of everything but under the Deep House uh, subgenre. So I started working with other labels just to get that experience with other sounds like our candy, the Stay True Sounds, uh, Go entertainment. Uh, I think it's up, uh, yeah, I think it's at work. And I will access in a soul. I started recurring the, 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 the sound among South African music. So now we unpost all the releases. People went back and redid their music. Now, no man, we got solid records. We, we're actually dropping the first drinks package next week uh, by Tabam Paling, My Issues, remixes by Tim Deep and myself. And there's another upcoming remixes from other producers like Abo Trust SA, Rams Tag, you name them, Roptonic SA. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope. No, thank you so much for filling us in. Um, it's really, really nice to hear, Hore, you're incorporating um, your foundation. So, um, with where you want to see yourself going. So, big ups for that because, you know, someone who never forgets where they 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 come from, it 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 also helps you in terms of steering, you know, towards where you want to go. Um, so without hogging the mic too much, uh, let me hand the mic back over to our host, the most, uh, to Uvoxman, uh, and hopefully we can keep hearing the incredible and sensational sounds of nasty grooves. Ohole ohole awudi, like what you have done for us on the dance floor, uh, and continue to do for us in house music goes without saying. It's good vibes. Over 
only. Uh, so, mm-hmm. so yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Voxman, over to you. So, this is Noanda. So, I'm uh, cool. Uh, shout out to this is Noanda and our guest, Mr. Groove. Shout out to each and every person. There's also the chair who's joined us. Uh, we're almost an hour into it. If you've missed us, it's a good lady. Uh, but it's okay. It's still here. It's still here. Uh, we're gonna go and play a song. We're gonna go and play a song, and now we're gonna give the mic to King Spokes. King Spokes has been here, uh, holding the mic a bit, so we're gonna give him a chance, perhaps, to say something to our guest, Lloyd Arshap and Namanja. Hola, hola. Hey, it's Tabizo, and you are tuned into hashtag everything house music. Lloyd, good to Mike, Lloyd, good to Mike.
Hey, it's Fabizo, and you are tuned into hashtag Everything House Music. Enjoy the Everything House Music. Tango. And that is another another hit song from our guest, Mystic Groove. Uh, you've been missing me. That one was released under one of the best EPs, I think, for the year so far. Groove Vibes only EP uh, released under Kenneth Bings. Uh, if you still haven't heard it or you still uh, perhaps haven't come across it, you can definitely check it out. Good, good vibes EP. Good vibes EP. Released under Kennedy Bings in March, in March of, of this year. Thank you so much. All right, let's pass on the mic to King Spokes. The King Spokes House Head. Um, welcome to Everything House Music, man. Please unmute your mic. Hi, 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 everyone. Excel, Excel. Shabu Zet. I like your boot, Jau Zet. Oh, sure. I just want to salute my brother there, man. Nice to prove. Hola, Brian. Oh, great. So hot, man. I am not well. Ah, the grand Brian. I die, you, Brian. Yeah, I did. I did. I got what I want. I get so far in it, okay. Okay. Uh, if you can remind me, Rizzo, how long ago? Uh, was she? She was a Yeah. Okay. What hour are you doing? Ah, what's up? Okay, I salute Brian. I remember when I was about to support the house music, Brian. I always follow you on Facebook. We like your tomo like. Today we were born like more Twitter here. I was being aware, but the day before yesterday, once I see your post too, Rene, you'll be a guest here on everything house music. I understand. Oh, bro. It's it. It, uh, I have no further questions because of that call sister, sister there. Ubudi is a very nice good reader, very Brian. I'll get over Brian. Thank you. Eight. Sure, Bravo, you can take over. Eh? No, shout out, King Spokes. Uh, and thanks for joining us. Uh, Kevin, number Ratang, fit can it groove? King Spokes. Yeah, I can say that one have been played now, now, now. He says. You have ever missing me? Yeah, you've been missing me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get checker now. I was late for music. Now I guess I think it's be one year. I guess I did give music. So the get checker no, you're not the late. La la la, the get checker na. My brother is the same thing. Yeah, please do, Brian, because a lot of music is coming. Okay, hot man. It's uh... I thank you. Nah, shout out, man. Um, absolutely amazing song as King Spokes. King Spokes. Uh, you've been missing me. Check that, check out that song on that EP. Good vibes only EP. I uh, released on the Nasty Groove uh in March. No, no, hi, keep I P and I'm saying but blind blind. Blind blind. Uh, I think um Lloyd dropped it on one of the videos on on Instagram and it's probably mm-hmm. one of the highest viewed um videos on Instagram. So shout out shout out indeed uh, to King Spokes. Thank you for joining us man and grabbing the mic. And grabbing yeah shout out mic. to you guys. We won we won the uh video uh Nasty Crew yeah, I think I I don't think I've I've seen it go Instagram, but uh, I've seen it, uh, doing some rotation on TikTok. No man, yeah, on no, your I, TikTok I, page, yeah. It's all it's all feedback. It's, it's, it's a random man. 
Yeah, I think it's one of. I think your page actually did me a favor because I didn't want to do TikTok because I thought TikTok was only about the the jokes and the things, man. Until I saw your page and you guys are pushing other producers' music, man. Shout out to you guys. No, no, no. Shout out to Fritz. I think, uh, yeah, your, your your understanding of what TikTok is, perhaps. Yeah, bro. Different ideas <laughs> of your life. Uh, okay, go, 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 TikTok, bro. The first thing that you see, kiddie meme, kiddie joke, see that. Well, I understand. So, I, I never thought that TikTok would be one of those platforms selling uh, my music and other people's music, man. So, shout out to you guys. Definitely. Do you think do, do you think there's enough platforms for, for your music out there for your fans? Yeah, man, I think I think now as much as we are always on internet, I think we have enough platforms for us to share music with people. It's just that we have to give people music, man. People that have been waiting. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Uh, shout out to. I just want to give a few shout outs. Go spacing. McFarlane is here. We've had him on the deep house space. Thank you so much, brother, for joining us. Shout out to each and every person also. If you're joining us for the very first time, we do this midweek. And when you do it midweek, we call up um, these amazing artists so we can just have a a few chats with them regarding their music and regarding their lives. You can know a bit more than what we hear uh, from the speaking. Uh, so thank you for joining us. It's a grand, it's a grand pleasure. Let's pass on the mic to Dallas K. Yeah, Dallas K has grabbed the mic. Dallas K, welcome to Everything House Music. Please unmute. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, gents? I know. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. <laughs> sure, nothing. Very Brian. Ah, Munadi, didn't Ah, I can't complain, man. Nah, I eat. Ah, uh, all good. So yeah, I'm also here to give the brother his flowers. Um. I know Nastic through Silhouette Sounds. I'm part of the label. As um, I'm not a producer, yeah. but I'm, I'm mainly a DJ. Um, they gave me the responsibility to run the podcast because we also do um, mixtapes every week. So, Nastic, I just want to thank you, you and everyone else from Silhouette from for embracing me. You know, uh, we started knowing each other from 2020 but online we had never met up until last year but the love that you've shown yeah. my brother it's been amazing i just want to thank you uh for that and always sharing your new music with us you know i think us at silhouette sounds we are privileged to always hear what you're working on and i want to tell you uh that you make dope music and you know people should should really 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 check you out. Thanks for always giving us the, the top stuff, man. Keep on going. It's it's good to see you progressing. Recently, you were at uh, Deep Town, Jersey. Sorry I couldn't come through, but I saw the videos. You had fun. You've made connections and all of that. So I just want to say, keep on going, my brother. The future is bright for you. Uh, thanks, Brian. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thanks to okay. the as well for, for hosting you. I think um, a lot of people need to be aware of this man's hard work. I yeah, appreciate it. Shout out, Dallas. Uh, Dallas, uh, what's your favorite song from, from Nestic Group? <laughs> uh, dude, it's difficult <laughs> to pick one. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, know, that doesn't have a favorite. If I, if I can tell you a funny story, um, if I go to my laptop now, I think I have uh, a lot of uh, music from Nasty Groove more than any artist you can think of. That's how much music of this guy that I have. 
So for me to to just pick one, it would be really unfair on 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 him, you know. But all I can say is I'm a fan of his music, and each and every set that I play or mixtape that I do, I always play one of his songs. So yeah, it's it's difficult to pick a, a favorite. But my current favorite is obviously uh, "Over You" from the new EP under Candid Beings. Yeah, that song is is dope, man. I played it also this past weekend where I was. Um, uh, I'm enjoying that song very much. No, shout out, tell us, man. Shout out. Uh, uh, thank you for coming through and grabbing the mic. As long, will, uh, al- along with the many songs that we don't know of that you don't we, <laughs> that you have <laughs> from this big group. Uh, yeah, I so know. Yeah, this man. this man is forever working. I also told him one day that if he was to release music in a year, he would probably have an album every year. It's him and people like Teammate Deep. These guys have tons and tons of music that is unreleased. So yeah, but I respect them. They want to take their time to release, you know. So, but yeah, it's it's their craft in any case. So we can't tell them what to do if they feel like this is the right time to release. So be it, you know. Nah, exactly, exactly. Shout out, Dallas. Thank you so much, man, yeah. for joining us. Thank you, thank you, James. Keep up the good work. George, George Dallas, George Dallas K. Yeah. Um. And that's the crew of it too. Uh, just like Dallas mentioned right now, yeah, I went recently and you played at uh, a Deep Town show as a bit. How was that? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I have no words for the, uh, for Deep Town Josie, man. Like, yo, man, it was an experience for me because from where I was staying, like in Sushi and Pologwane, the culture of music is not as as big as Joburg and and other places, you know. So for me to be in that space, to be around music listeners, to be around a lot of producers who actually admire my music, and I looked up to some of them, it was an experience, man. I can't... <laughs> I can't describe it. it. It was something else. I guess and it was. To... Yes, I guess it was. And you and yeah. you closed. Sorry to disturb. You closed the party off, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yeah, man. <laughs> like actually, I, I got starstruck when got uh, uh, Julian uh, greeted me and he whispered to me and said, Evan, I was supposed to play one of your songs and they told me that you are playing after me. So I couldn't play your songs. So it was something else, man. I I grew up listening to G Family, man. So for Julian to see such things, man, it, it's something, you know. It's music. No, absolutely, absolutely, man. That that you know that lineup uh, from the tenth was was crazy. From Sooks to Cabana right. to Tevza to to you, uh, I think it was a crazy lineup. Uh, you know, uh, I was booked to play <laughs> at half past nine, but I was there at two p.m. just so that I can greet all the DJs and all the producers that who came through. Man, it was. Phenomenal, man. Yeah. Shout out to producers, man. Deepas producers for supporting Deepas Josie, man. And I indeed. Exactly, exactly. No, shout out to so shout out to the producers. As well as the fans, as well as the music lovers. Yeah, sort of, sort of, man. Yeah. Also <laughs> the fans, man. Go there and actually listen to the music. Um, Before I pass the mic... Um, good vibes only. If I have with good vibes only, it's been it's been more than a month. It's been two, two months now. It's how much I have it. Uh, good vibes only. Like apart from, okay, let me try to put it like this. From the first EP that I've released until good good vibes only. 
Like good vibes, good vibes only was my best work yet. I didn't feel it the way people felt about it, but it became something different for for me after I realized that it really touched people, you know. Because for me, it was good vibes only, you know. We only had to chill, man. We don't want to start beef. We don't want to do anything. We don't do things to get in trouble, man. We just love music. We just love to connect. So good vibes only. That's how it came about. And and you reckon it's it's been your best um, music, your best project ever, Van? Yeah, because uh, good vibes only was supposed to be released in uh, September, last year, September, on Silhouette. So that's when we we post on some of the releases. And I gave it to, like, some of the DJs that I thought they wouldn't leak my music, so they did. So I had to redo the, the, the EP. You can use... If you can ask the some of the people who has the leaked versions first, so they will tell you these are not the best versions of the songs that they had. So I had to redo all the songs, uh, all the songs in the EP. And goodbye. Uh, 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 uh. I, eh? <laughs> I remember I saw something on Facebook uh, a couple of days ago. Someone mentioned me on a post and wrote a uh, nasty groove remixing one song for the fifth time. <laughs> and it and in that case, you actually you're actually redoing your music because of people leaking it. Yeah, but I I've learned to not share. Music until it's uh, its final product. Nice. So now, if I start sharing music with people, I know that it's a final product, ready to be released, ready to be shared with other people, fans. No, thank you for sharing that, man. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, let's pass on the mic and pass on the mic to Lloyd. Lloyd, I think maybe we can do the last ones, last round. Uh, or maybe, are you ready to play a song, Lloyd? Yeah, we can play a song. Um, I don't know what's happening with my Wi-Fi, man. You, you got a papa, you got your name, man. I guess I look. Speed beating, right? Like it's really more. Hey. Anyway. Um, let me play Losing My Religion in Sirikari Washa in the way for you. Kura wani hana wadla ala wana. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, shem, I'm paid two minutes, Vox. At least it's not me being, being told, uh, Wi-Fi problem. Uh, I guess. But uh, thank you so much for joining us. Shout out to each and every person that's here. Uh, if you're here for the first time, yes, we do this weekly. Uh, we also have the Deep House Space. But we don't, we're not doing the Deep House Space this week. Um, key holiday. So, go fella. You probably will be out and about. Um, go to Stratting, go to Fountain. Hey, yo, Fountain. Um, and then we also have. The Deep House Space, yes, on Fridays. We have the Jazz Request, which I do with Sundus Noah, and on Sundays, we have Music Nights. Next week, uh, I'm going to have a space with Oprah Namtambo. Yes, please join us uh, on the 20th with Oprah Sister Namtambo. Uh, she was actually uh, on, on Jazz Sunday Request on Sunday just to hear how we sound. Uh, hopefully, we sound sound. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, so join us next week, please, on the 20th, as we chat with Usis Brendam Damo. Uh, amazing, amazing person, indeed. Uh, still going to confirm 
few things with Dinga Gaba. Dinga Gaba, yes, Dinga Gaba. Uh, probably gonna have him towards the end of end of the month or beginning of July. He's releasing some music, so we might have an international guest in the next coming weeks or so. Uh, look out for that. Uh, but yeah, do come back uh, next week for the Deep House Space. We'll be back on after after holiday, after putting on some toughies. It's even like yeah, toughies or not, or yeah. But uh, please do join us. Next week. Lloyd, you feel it two minutes. Eh? Um, is, is there two minutes that I give you? Ah, as you can't manage. The register is a lot of people who are fine. This is Sabrina Child, and you are tuned in to Everything House Music. Everything house music, propelling sounds with meaning, delivering on emotions that lack feeding. Intact, your souls have no peeling. Everything house music. Casting spells on unheard beings, bringing them to the underground. These grooves are worthy, because house music is worth at. Believe me, everything house music. child and you are tuned in to everything house music
bona ste groove ba top ba drop ba di di tune man di tune eh uh, that is losing my religion he's with feel sa and tabang paling yeah i feel sa le na go mong over ka e ka sa vera ka yo mastig e la vera ka jo i know fox i mean on the same album you also have whatever the mood galaxy love i wanna i controlled chaos i was crazy and co controlled chaos was crazy indeed no nah, man shout out shout out to everyone thank you for joining us thank you for joining us especially to our guest nastic groove thank you for joining us brother and being a part of everything house music uh we also have the spotify playlist if you want to check it out it's doing it's doing really good doing really nice so spotify playlist the deep house space Check him out. Uh, to, 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 uh, you're gonna love it definitely. Uh, always new tunes, uh, weekly new tunes that are that are great uh, to listen to. Uh, perhaps on on any given day, on every given time. Uh, and a stick. A new show, Mike and John. Sure. No, but look something. Okay, ah, Naga Grant. Oh, Nick, when I raised your hand, it's okay. Oh, uh, so, pass- so, uh, so, man, uh, I'll be releasing an EP called Deep House South Africa next week, Friday. Oh, shout out, shout out for that, man. Shout out to that. Yeah. Maybe then they should have that next week. I don't know how to plan. Good Deep House space. I had to let it plan. But yeah, there's already some music if it's rocking it to post next week. I agree, send that Langa email. La la. No tool, no tool. To post space next week, Friday, Linistic Groove. Hey, I'm not going to say like a mood to demand. I share a kid's like a boy. It's a it's a man. Hey, let's go. Let's go and a broak. <laughs> uh since no wonder, please grab the mic. Um and probably we'll do our last ones, last round for 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 the evening. Thank you. Cool, cool. I'm always ready. When Lloyd said Mbe earlier on, I was like, How high? Um but, <laughs> but here we go, here we go. Um I would be nasty. I think I like calling you that. Where does this name come from? Like your stage name is so dope, dude. How did you come up with Nasty Groove? <laughs> uh, like uh, it's it's hard to explain the meaning behind Nasty, but uh, it actually means groove. So it's actually groove, groove, but I used to love this. Uh, uh, like I said, I used to listen to Abo, the spinners, the, 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 the more funk music, I understand. So the nasty comes from that more funk groove. So yeah, that's where nasty groove comes from. All right, I right, cool guy. I understand. Um, thank you again for joining us in Everything House Music. It is an absolute pleasure to be able to have this conversation with you. Um, you're oh, just so pleasure. cool, man. Like, oh, dope, why is Why is it a horror dope? Or how you want us to be? Oh, no, 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 just there, man. I'm, I'm here, like. We're doing music. I'm not here to be with anyone. I'm not here to... Like, when it comes to music, there's no higher being. So I'm just here for everyone. I just hope people are just willing to work as much as I I would like to work, you know. Oh, I love that. There's no higher being. So in terms of your music, process you know um as a as a producer 
I love earlier on you mentioned Hore, usually you buy uh, some of you know the music uh, in terms of the vocals uh, to add. What does your production process actually look like? you know what do you start with? Um, take us take us through that or is it different with every song? Do you sometimes start with the the the, the voice? Uh, do you first start with the drum? And you first started the melody with the rhythm. Yeah, take take us through this 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 way that you create this incredible magic that we know to be Nastic Groove's uh, signature sound. Uh, it differs with every song or every track that I do. So some of the tracks I start with vocals, or I start with uh the chords or the drums, the keys, you know, especially when you, you get into the remix. When you're getting into the the first thing that you're going to listen is the key of the vocal, the, 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 the key of the, your elements, like your keys and everything. So, yeah. But I love starting with drums, you know, because I think it gives me that feel, you know, like if I, I start with the drum, that I know that it's going to be a groovy song. So, yeah, I like starting my sounds by applying drums first. Dope, dope, dope. It makes sense, man. You have us from that first, yo. Yeah, no. What you do with music is 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 something else. And there's been something really interesting. I mean, other than the fact that you're really like grounded and humble, ne? In how you're you're answering the Um, there's this recurring theme uh about how you say, you know, getting the music out there. Uh so my last two questions have to do with that, you know, how you position yourself as an artist and how you get your name out there. Uh, firstly, what's your favorite social media platform and why? Uh, I used to love pushing my music on SoundCloud. But I don't know. I think it still works. I I just think now it's being outdated by the social media like Abu Facebook and Instagram because Applying these reels and videos on social media, it gets your music out there more easier than using track source, you know, sorry, uh, SoundCloud or your, your, your mixed clouds, you know. So I think, and I'm not saying they're obsolete, but I think that people lost touch in, like, into looking for artists on track source and mixed cloud. So I I think Instagram and Facebook are my tools for pushing my music and other people's music. Yeah. Dope. I love that. Because, uh, you know, you can't be everything to everyone. You must do the yeah. ones that work for you. But I also like how you say, Hore, uh, the Deep House music space, when you see what's popping there on TikTok. So it's nice to know, Hore, Osatsuhile, you know, you're not like sitting and you're like, well, I'm just going to use the ones that I'm used to, you know? Yeah. So big ups for that. Um, I want to read some of the comments that we have in the comment box section before I, I, I say my last uh, parting remark uh, in terms of my parting question. But from DJ uh, Lashem, Arim, shout out to my brother, Nastic Groove SA, humble monster that one. Keep pushing, bro. Uh, and then we have uh, from um, Semola, so shout out to Nastic once again. He's always dishing nothing but good music. 
so big ups, big ups, big ups to you. And then the last comment that I'm going to read that's in there. So please do feel free to pick up the microphone or use the hashtag Everything House Music in the comment box section in the bottom right hand corner is from Obi Cray. Arnastic Groove played such a beautiful set at Deep Town Josie on Saturday. I was in awe the whole set. Shout out, bro. Uh, so big ups to you. People are, are giving you your, your flowers, so please take them in and sniff them uh, while we still have you. Mina, my last question, uh, other than, you know, what you're busy with, uh, where we can find you because you say there's a lot of music that you have coming I want to know um, after you say that uh, Good Vibes Only was one of your best projects um, what what do you think was different about this one compared to the other ones um, and are you going to take that into the account with the new music that you're going to be releasing for the coming weeks? So is there any specific subgenre of house we must look out for? Uh, yeah, are you focusing on anything, really, with your new releases that you've learned from Good Vibes Only, which you released in March of 2023? Uh, like I said before, like I was into... Uh, doing this sound design thing, so Good Vibes Only was part of that uh, project for me to showcase my sound design in terms of uh, deep house music. So for the rest of my upcoming like releases, I'll be introducing like the constant sound that I'm trying to portray into Deep House, you know, but for now I'm going to be dropping another EP next week, Friday. And for the rest of the year, I'll be featured on remixes and the collabs, uh, if I say so, because I still got a lot of collabs. Uh, I'm, right now I'm doing another one with Jezwell, uh, China Chameleon, El Payo. Oh man, I can't. <laughs> the list is endless. Like, I've met producers like over the weekend at Deep Town Joe's. Everyone wants to work. I'm here to work, you know. So, yeah, I'll be releasing more music with other producers, not me alone. But for the next upcoming release, it's going to be Nasty Groove only. Uh, and the title of the AP is called No Title Yet. Because I haven't figured the name for my sound, so no title yet. Ah, uh, no pressure. When, when it comes to naming music, uh, you have no problem. So when the time is right, you will definitely give it the right title. But thank you so much for entertaining me and my questions. Uh, with the stick, uh, it's again like we're forever grooving. Uh, thank you for your time. It's been absolutely amazing. I'm gonna hand back over to Voxman because I do see we have another speaker who's picked up the mic. Um, so let's let's let him lead the conversation. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, what what you did to me with good vibes only. Obviously, over you like J all your songs, and I think for me, I really uh, like how you. I like how you title them. You have, you tell stories, dog. Like, I want you to know, you know, you're heard loud and clear. Mm -hmm. You're one of those artists who your music speaks for itself. So I love that you're saying you're just going to be releasing more because you don't need to be out. Um, you don't need, uh, you know, all the publicity. You literally just need your music and your music speaks for you. So Shout out to you for always staying true to that because it always comes through, brother. Galebo. Uh, thanks. So what to Sis Noanda? A wonderful, amazing person that she is. Always coming here and becoming a great person each and every single week. Thank you so much, Sis Noanda. Let's give the mic to Osoma Lebul. Osoma Lebul. Please unmute. Uh, 
Hello guys. I'm so my label from from Kenya. I'm so glad to hear Nastic oh, hey, group speaking. The, the 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 guy just before me spoke a lot of things that were, were on my mind. Nasty Groove is that guy that his music just is, just speaks for his itself. You don't have to know Nasty Groove looks like or what it speaks like, but the music he speaks. And um, I'm from Kenya. The, the 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 house music is growing slowly, but surely it's grow is growing. The we we are. Pr- I'm appreciating appreciating the house music, deep house music, the way it's growing. And I really liked the the previous EP that he just released. You've been missing me. That has been my jam. Has been my jam. And my friends, all the way from Kenya, we have been liking this music. We really like the this music. And I think I'm speaking for everybody in Kenya. Oh, listen to this music. It's, it's really good music. We like it. We love it. Oh, 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 my request was only one. Please, guys, when you're hosting these spaces, please, can you speak in English? We, we, we get lost in the, in the language. We want to hear what you're saying. We, we want to know what you're saying. We want to hear the music more. We want to feel the vibes more. But... Can you speak in a language that we can relate to, please? We we really like the music, really like the culture. We're together in this, please. Keep keep us together in 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 the in the industry, in the in the growing of pushing this music, this culture, this feeling ahead. No, shout out, shout out uh, to my label. Thanks for coming through, man. Thanks for adding the voice, adding your voice to everything house music. Um, if if I actually said so, my label in in one of our ethnic tongues uh, would see, would mean something else. But thank you so much, man, um, for for coming through and and joining us. Thank you for having me. Shout out, brother. Shout out. I uh, even see in the space we have. The great DJ and producer himself, Timmer Deep. Shut up, man. Thank you for coming through. We still need to have him for a space. Um, but I, I don't know when he's going to say yes to us. Uh, probably one of these days. One of these days he's going to say yes to us. Shout out to Utima Deep. Lloyd, Tora Mike, and um, let's get one of your last, last rounds, last, last remarks. Uh, for our guests this evening. Thank you. One last question to Nastik. Um, how do you compose your your, your, your melodies, Nastik? Uh, I'm using uh, what, what it's called. I don't fully play the key, uh, the key, uh, the keyboard, sorry. So I'm using this other play key. It's used to scalar. It helps you to name the keys, you know, to actually practice off the plugin, to actually study the 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 the, the, the key the keyboard. So yeah, I'm still a learning progress. Hey, no, Tim, because I don't know what you're talking about. I just had plugin, <laughs> but I'll take. No, that like on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I will take that one. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I have to talk about overview. Overview is being used in vlogs, man, on TikTok. People are using it on vlogs. They're using it as their background music, telling stories. There's this one video I sent to Mood Dusty. There's a guy who does um, vlogs about hotels around the world. He's using that song. <laughs> on almost every video he does uh, when he travels. So the latest one, I sent it to, to Mood Dusty. I think at the time when you, you your phone had problems. Yeah, when, yeah, I think your phone had problems that time. So I sent that video to Mood Dusty. I don't know if he sent it to you. 
Yeah, I think you send it because hey, you send a lot of videos. Yeah, hey, people must never must people must not sleep on on, on TikTok. Um, over you was already popular way before it. Started. <laughs> It was it was being played. That clip was being played. Uh, I don't know how many in how many countries, but it was played all over the world. Um, I remember this one guy from, I think it was he's a Filipino. Yeah. So after the initial release, he came back to the view and said, "I'm still playing this song. I've been playing it the whole day." I replied to to, to one of the the, the videos. So yeah, hey, uh, music goes all over the world, Maji. Uh, that's all I can say. Hey, Fox. Oh, shout, no, out shout, out to, shout out for that. Yeah, yeah, we can play the song. Uh, but let me give. Let's give the mic to King. Oh, King Spokes. King Spokes. I want to work. Let's do my I see your 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 bio in front of reads love love music underground house one way house music collector um please give us your love to Mark and Joe, if there's anything that you like us would you like to add perhaps to today uh, King Spokes I got a King Spokes maybe a way over the music as one of the songs from. As the groove says, but it's okay. Um, Nasty compared to um, you mentioned that you are releasing an EP this next coming Friday. Uh, anything else that we can look forward to uh, during the year from your side? Uh, I think, yeah, man, I think I'll be pushing a lot of music, so I hope to share this music with you guys. That's all I can say for now. More music is coming. Uh, are you are you playing anywhere? Perhaps that we can go and actually come and maybe check you out or something like that. Uh, so far, I've been had. Oh, I'll, I'll be doing a an EP launch at the living room on the I think on the ninth of July. Yeah, I'll be doing no title yet EP launch at the living room. So yeah, I'll be sharing more details as time goes. Through. You can expect me in various places. I don't want to mention like this, uh, like unconfirmed deals. But yeah, I can assure you, I'll share dates and venues. Was all those gigs are being confirmed. No, nah, shout out, brother, shout out. And uh, via being in Joburg, you did mention that you just arrived in, I think in Joburg, right? Jo Joburg, right? Yeah, I just relocated uh, in May. I relocated from Seattle to Pretoria. I'm staying in Pretoria. And what's the plan? What's the plan? I mean, uh, is, is is the musical part of your life taking a stronghold like that that you decided to move? Uh, what's what's the plan? Yeah, man. I just I just felt like uh like have you been to the same place and you felt like maybe maybe that's the end of the road, like. Hence, I said I needed to go where the culture is, and Gauteng seems to be the culture where you can find different music, you know, for yeah, program is limited, so I had to, to go closer where the culture is, so I had to even learn more about the culture itself, so I couldn't grow into the culture because of ours being limited or the resources that have been limited. No, shout out, man. Shout out, shout out. And um, I think from my side, lastly, thank you, Mfetu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chuck, for coming through. I would have been, 
Yeah, yeah thanks for being us. patient with me, man. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for this interview. No, it's okay, brother. It's okay. We know that you you work. Uh, you've got so much uh, in the pipeline that you're doing in terms of music, in terms of your own life. So thank you so much uh, for giving us this pleasure of talking to you. Uh, from our side, everything house music, we wish you all the best with everything else. And um, yeah, as as mentioned, you know, we we add especially on on Fridays if there's some new music. Uh, please do share, do do let us know. Uh, yeah, give always, us music. Brother, always. But I can on Facebook, TikTok, I can go Instagram. What are you? What are you on it? Um, don't be shy. I think don't be shy. Like people don't actually realize that you guys play the role for good vibes only to to actually reach more audience, you know. So. Shout out to you guys. I know you are not only pushing my music. I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen your playlists on Spotify, man. Thanks for what you're doing for the culture, man. It's it's all good, man. It's all good. It's 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 us breathing. It's us breathing. It's more than us. Um, the music is more than us. I mean, you make the music. We are the lovers of the, of the music, and we'll take it to the people. Where we can, we will take it. So thank you so much uh, for your time. But uh, any last remarks from your side? Uh, any last remarks, Ibrahim, before we close off? And perhaps uh, as Lloyd Bing Chun, when I play uh, this this bang of a song uh, that you released on, on Candid Beings. Thank you. And I think you just went to get the mic, and meet your mic. Oh, yeah, man. Shout out to everyone, man, who's been supporting me. No support goes unnoticed, man. So, yeah, shout out, guys. This is me trying to push. This is me trying to reach out. This is me sharing my music with you guys. So, yeah, thanks. It's all good, man. It's all good. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's been amazing. It's been good. It's been grand. Uh yeah, Spotify. Check out the, the the playlist on Spotify. Check out um Instagram, the Deep House Space. It's on this TikTok, and uh, all of these interviews we do record them. So if you retype, tip, retype the hashtag, you will come across the interviews. And um, yeah, thank you for 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 checking us out. Next week, next week, yes. Um, Brendan Dambo, please come in, come through and join us next week. But this coming Friday, you're not hosting the Deep House Space. It's a holiday. I'm going to have to go out there and enjoy the holiday, the festivities of Youth Day. Thank you, thank you. Keep well, stay blessed. And um, of course, as always, never listen to, never let your friends listen to bad music when, when we are here. Thank you. Lloyd. <laughs> This is Sabrina Child, and you are tuned in to Everything House Music. To Everything House Music. Everything House Music. Propelling sounds with meaning, delivering on emotions that lack, feeding intact. Your souls have no peeling. Everything house music casting spells and unlearned beings bringing them to the underground these grooves are worthy because house music is where it's at believe me everything house music
This is Sabrina Child, and you are tuned in to Everything House Music. And that is uh, over you. Go check it out. Out by Nastic Groove from Good Vibes EP, released on Tinted Beings Fire Fire EP. Thank you, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy the rest of your evening, the rest of the week. Keep blessed. Stay loved. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>